Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, we will examine the use of the Tabs dialog box. For users upgrading from Word 2003 and prior, this is the dialog box that you used to be able to open by selecting Format and then choosing Tabs from the menu bar. In order to access this dialog box in Word 2010 through 2007, you must click the Home tab in the ribbon, and then click the Paragraph Dialog Box button that's located in the lower right corner of the Paragraph group. This will open the Paragraph Dialog Box. In the lower left corner of the Paragraph Dialog Box is the Tabs button. Click this button to open the Tabs Dialog Box. You can use this dialog box to set any and all attributes of the tabs for the currently selected section or line in your document. Now any tabs that you have added to the current section will be shown in the list below the tab stop position text box. You can click on the tab stop, noted by its position on the horizontal ruler, that you want to edit from this list in order to change the attributes of the selected tab. In the alignment section, you can select one of the available option buttons to change the tab type if necessary. Below that, in the leader section, you can add a decorative leader to the selected tab. These special types of tabs are used for creating a dashed or dotted line when you press the tab key on your keyboard to move to the selected tab. So these are the tabs that are used when you want to create an index or a table of contents. You can also remove all tabs from the current selection by clicking the Clear All button in the Tabs dialog box. That will clear all of the tab stops from the list shown in the dialog box. Now also, if you have yet to create any tabs in the current section of the document, you can create them in this dialog box as well. You start by typing the desired tab's position on the horizontal ruler in inches into the tab stop position text box. Then select the desired alignment for the tab from the options shown in the alignment section. If desired, you would next pick the desired leader tab from the options shown in the leader section. Now once you've set the options for the tab that you've either created or modified, just click the Set button to set the tab and add it into the list of tabs shown in the dialog box. You can then repeat the process to continue adding more tabs if desired. Also note, if you want to delete a single tab shown in the tab list, you must first just select the tab that you want to delete from the list, and then click the Clear button to remove it. Once you have the tab set as you would like for your section, click the OK button to apply your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.